There we go. I think we're back. Yeah, we're back. That was weird. Alright. So it's number A. It's 100%. Cool. Nice. Floating works. Goblin's voice trails off of the, as he examines the sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag uh, until his bulbous nose protrudes from the breach. A new plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Uh, I'm not... What does this mean? Minus t 20 gold? Minus one... Unlike? <laughs> what does it mean? What do these little icons mean up here? Minus three food, minus 20 gold, I assume, and minus one day? Is that what that is? Takes a day. Alright, so you voted for A. Um... Really make much sense. Warrior's Axe. Critical strike. Uh, perform a powerful strike that causes 250% damage. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's really weird. Armor Breaker. Against corrupted enemies. Bash causes additional damage. Heavy. Are you gifting me with minus 20 gold? Is that what you're doing? I like axe. Let's do that. Heavy weapons. <laughs> uh, would you like to equip the warrior's axe? Yes. A wise choice! Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's use... Let's use this axe. Thanks for taking my money. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's keep let's keep going. Finding for this bolt. card has a token. Can you find it? Yeah, it's right there. Easy. I don't I don't know what the problem is, buddy. Super easy. <laughs> Heavy weapons are bad against thieves. Ah. Uh, well. Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Uh... This. There you go. So you get to vote on which card you want to do. Which one? This doesn't really matter. Hmm. Let's see. That one. Got it! You follow the song through thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. <laughs> you find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the boughs of a forest. It has been twelve years since I had a visitor, her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in the ears. You might visit me when you're in need, adventurer. I don't know why I have that voice for her. <laughs> this is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Thanks, creepy death guy. <laughs> All right, go here. Nothing the royal could be road. more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this. Country <laughs> girl, yeah. Or at least started it all for you. <laughs> she, well, she did live in the forest, so. All right, a trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers uh, leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader. Weapons drawn. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Uh, whoever heard of a thief talk about fair shares? Let's, uh, spits one. You turn up and boss us around? We've barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed someone. Days! The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. 
As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive, and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Which one? Can't replace the amulet he stole, or he will pay in blood for his thievery. I'm kind of thinking... Number one? Okay, I was thinking that too. Awesome. He holds up a finger. First rule of negotiation. Never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable. The thieves draw their blades to mug you. <laughs> the leader hurries away to hide. Once again. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you. Growls one of them. You consider their options. I'm not even going to vote. We're going to fight. You draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. Thieves evade heavy weapons more frequently. You can change equipment in the inventory. Alright, fine. Let me know if the sound is too high. A little high for me. You dick! Ow! That was quite the jump. Ow! Ow! I thought if I pressed F, it would do a finisher. I'm terrible at this game. Yeah, we did it! After losing half of our health, we did good. I guess. With the battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before, before him. He holds out a hand. The name is Malaclips, Bard Extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands to surrender. Wait! Let's not be hasty! We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen, just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really! They were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? Every character has the same accent. Yeah, yeah. I don't know a lot of accents. <laughs> <laughs> you stare at the amulet. It does not look familiar. Oh, Malaclip says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So, uh, which one is yours? <laughs> Use your father's amulet. Um, mine. Duh. The lion amulet. That suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. I have befriended Malaclips the trickster. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> we should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be lifetime or er, friends for life, Malaclips says. Tell me, where are you from? <laughs> selecting what is this this one looks coolest <laughs> how about the German accent <laughs> yeah uh, can I choose this let's choose this I don't know what this is Using out oh I'm customizing my guy okay okay that's what's going on here. Let's be some ramen hood. Nope, that's my amulet for sure. Um. Oh, this is an int interesting way of doing character selection. Bo. Let's do that guy. 
back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll come from the mountains. There we go. Blonde, black, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> From the Eastern Belt, eh? You don't say. Good swords from the Eastern Belt. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I i mean, we, friend, owe money to Vignus of the Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Mir Mirebridge together to appease him. Some gold might help, or we can kill him. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Now that Clips eyes a pretty trader hiking up the road. So, it'd be best if you get the gold and I meet you there. What a jerk. Why am I getting gold for anybody? I, sh I should just tell him get lost. Get lost, punk. Let us learn what sort you are. You Strong, enter. clever, wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. You enter a competition of strength at a fair. A gold prize is available to the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling troop of acrobats. You see this negative gold gift is coming, going to come in handy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Uh-huh. What did I get? Fourteen! Holy shnikes. Victory. You are learning. I'm learning. This is on chance, though. Okay. Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels off the door. <laughs> yeah, I got 10 gold, so now I can <laughs> deal with a minus 20 gold gift. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> You take your reward from the purse, uh, purser on the way out of the tavern. When you re uh, return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Can I return? Uh, can I go back and then and forward again? Is that something I can do? Hmm. Try that. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll just continue on. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What well, is cross... it you're thinking uh. of? Well, what crossing concern a... is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. I want to read the card. Are you done? Okay. <laughs> While crossing the stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. Deal? Or what is this? Uh, you could stand and fight the fiends, or throw yourself to the mercy of the river below. Get a vote. I don't know. Deep into the river, dice target 11. It seemed like... Easy. Number one? Okay, I guess we'll stand and fight then. Seems fair. You ready your weapon? Is 14 hard to get on dice, or... What? I guess if it's a 3d6, you can get 18 maximum, so 14 is pretty hard. Yeah! Oh, look at these guys! The first line of defense against any who would question the Empire. Empire enemies wear armor that reduces damage by 3, rendering light we weapons less effective. 12 is average? Okay. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, baby. Left shift, okay. And then you click middle mouse button to kick him. Ow! Jesus. Up you go! Into the drink. Woo! <laughs>
What do we do? Having spilled your enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Uh, oh, I got a new a shield. Defense. You can do better given time. Yes, I sure did. And a health potion. Cool. All right, let's go back. Oh, what? You chat. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power, despite their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? We'll try. We'll try to help the distressed woman. Go! Oh. Fix! Ah. Well, obviously this one. Boop. Ah, damn. The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. I think you're a cheater. Oh, thank you. Now, if you could, would be so kind as to give me all your gold? The women draws a pair of concealed blades from a corset. Come on out, boys! Ah, uh, jerk. Can I switch stuff? You have no time to react as a group of bandits spring from hiding. Oh, okay. <sighs> I knew it was gonna be that. Yeah, my new shield! It looks pretty good! Way better than the other one, that's for damn here. When skies are darkened by your enemy's volleys, fight in the shade of this personal wooden bulwark. Get him! Yeah. Ow. Right. What I really want to do is dual wield. Alright, chick, give me all your gold. And your corset. Oh, yeah. With the thugs defeated, you search the bodies for valuables. I need a nine, huh? Eight! Jesus. This one. We roll that damn thing. You find some food amongst their possessions. Alright, well. Not the worst thing, I guess. Celebrations in any of what? Hey, it's that you see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Nearing the sleepy hamlet of Dolvich. You find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone lizard man. What's going on? Friendly stable hand explains, In a bygone age, our town was reset by half-men, half-lizards. There was no food, no respite, and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beast for little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold, and we take turns smashing it to bits with a club. You're welcome to join us, and you may keep whatever falls out. Uh, the parade and statue are winding their way into the town and almost out of sight. Uh, yeah, we're gonna follow. The parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that pop spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you'd like a turn. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's watch them first, actually. You allow a young girl to go ahead of you in the queue, an act of courtesy that grants you the opportunity to see how this works. The crowd cheers enthusiastically as a child smacks the lizard, man, lizard man's ankle with the club and gathers a few coins and a wrapped sweetbread that falls out. <laughs> It'd be kind of smushy, I think. It's soon your turn. You accept the blindfold and take the club into your hands.
All right. Uh, no chance to have you guys vote on this one. Oh no, there it is. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. Oh wait. Oh, boot up. Number one. All right. Hey. The club strikes the chest of the treat-laden beast. Some gold falls out. You survey the spoils and try to scoop them up before anyone else can. Alrighty. Mm, I'm gonna say three. Number three? Okay. Hey! Cool. Plus five gold. You scrambled to gather the bounty that you unleashed. Would you like to try to gather more? Of course. Survey the spoils and try to scoop them up before anyone else can. Oh. Well, see, we just gotta get one now. Oh boy. Yeah, one second. Ah, hello cat. Been bugging me for attention today. Hey, good eye, good eye. Cool, man. You, good suggestion. You leave the town celebrations with whatever you've gathered. Yeah, I do. This is my cat. Hi, cat. His name is Zeke. He's a pain in the butt. All right, let's continue. Here we come to the end of the beginning. Head drop, Running huh? errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. You arrive at Meyer Bridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Meliclips per perusing a selection of cheeses by the market. Ah, if it isn't my good friend the adventurer! Did you bring the gold? Ignis has arranged to meet at the graveyard! I'm gonna keep... Uh, keep exploring just means I go back, right? Right? Play this game before. Like, if I wanted to go back to other places. Um... Yeah, let's try it for science. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Go to the graveyard. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or for easy body disposal. Well, either way. Bigness greets Malak lips with a sly grin. <clears throat> <clears throat> Looks like you turned up after all, and with a lackey in tow. We had our doubts, you know. Ace of Greed, Anarchist, Anarchist of Greed. Bigness cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, Malakalypse, convince me. What's to stop me cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malakalypse scrounges in his pockets for some too. The heavy satchel of riches lands at Vignus's feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of the ceremony or er, cemetery. <laughs> that's our deal done. Mel er, no, that's our deal done. Malakalypse says, worry obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. Vignus grins. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Ah, uh, the jerk. Vignus, the crazed. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists flo or throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is no use to you here. Great, where's my buddy? Why is it just me? There at all. Ow. Woo. 
Get up. Yeah. I'm getting better at this. Back here. Whoa! Ow! That wasn't fun. Oh. Whoa! Here we go. Is it just you now? Just me, buddy. A little bit there at the end. He's like, no, I don't want to die. And he kicked. <laughs> oh, I can't. Well, Acolypse scratches his chin thoughtfully. It seems you can do with some savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let's discuss our partnership over an ale or two. I don't really want to do that. Well done. You have cleared the first challenge. And now we can move on to the next. Yay. Boop. Hey, you got a blade. Oh, I get both of them? Okay. Boop. Market thief. Hearts, pies, and exotic lies. Fork in the road. And arm wrestling. Not sure what these are. We're befriending him. We got a couple quests. Oh, he's opening these seal things and they give you stuff. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. That was the fool. Now we'll go to the magician. Uh, we have one companion. This is the trickster. All mages are my children. This one, however, I would rather disown. <laughs> Encounters. Fill your deck with encounter cards. These are the places you visit on your journey. Okay. Uh What is what is this? Do I get to choose what I put in there? Or do I not? I to inspect. Complete this encounter card to unlock new cards. Draw this encounter card during a challenge to discover its traits. Huh? Uh, let's do that one. Seems good. Build maiden, maybe. Arm wrestling. I don't understand this. You can choose your encounters or just have them suggest some set. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to work on uh, Malacalypse's problem, but beyond that, I don't really care. Equipment. Um. I want that. 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 Like, is this the same thing? Hmm. Huh. It's a shield. Yeah. Do I just take everything anyways? It doesn't matter. Recommend? Goblin can recommend you a deck built from suggested cards. Well, good, he's no match for an experienced player. 
Here we go. You may take their recommendations if you wish. They will be sufficient for now. So these encounters, they're dependent upon what I did in the last area. I kind of want to do arm wrestling again. It's like, I already did the Distressed Damsel. Why do I want to do it again? Uh, okay. Continue. Let's just go. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? For 100 years, I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. Mm. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Okay, finishing encounters will add more encounters to the pool. Cool, interesting. So, uh, whisp whispers from the west. Your conversation with a fur trader is interrupted as Malaclips arrives in a flurry. The whispers seek of tr speak of trouble at the edges of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against a blight. Uh, let's find out more about, about Westwind. Do we want to know? Let's ask about Empire protection. Small garrison is meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they're all either dead, missing, or drunk. That's what makes Westwind special. I've traveled far. Uh, a trick with the card shuffling minigame is that the cards must be in their final positions at the same time. So you can kind of guess where they are going by how fast they are trapped. Uh, okay, I'm not sure I understand that. You're saying like if I want to complete a story arc, then I can guess based on its progress? I've traveled far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Westwind gave me my freedom, and I t intend to return the favor. Where is it? Westwind sits on the outer edge of the Empire. While the Emperor focuses on the capital, its nobles and merchants, those at the fringes are neglected. Okay, I guess we have to head to Westwind. Uh, the trick with the card shuffling minigame is that the cards must be in the final position. You can kind of guess where they are going by how fast they are. Cards that he shuffles that have passes and failures. Uh, okay. You'll have to explain it to me the next time we uh, come up on one of those. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. Let's vote on this one. Stone, food, or weaponsmith? I'm kind of leaning towards Weaponsmith, personally. What do you think? Yay or nay? You arrange an uncomfortable ride jammed in among the many tools of the weaponsmith headed far west. Oh. Like a compass, it indicates the truth of all directions. Did I just get that, or what? Do I have two of them now? Nope. This one has 19 damage, this one has 18 damage. But we get to use a... Oh, I see. So... Oh. Got it. So... Last time, I unlocked those cards, and now I have a chance of finding them, is what's going on. So I haven't found them yet. And I don't get to keep my equipment between acts, that's kind of weird. But okay. 
Uh, you arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. Ooh. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passers-by to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. Oh no! You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as they weave through the crowd. I... I don't know. Not sure what you're talking about there. It seems like they all just go to the middle and then go elsewhere. Oh, which card do you think, man? Seems my stream is a little unstable right now. <laughs> you know what? I should move myself. There we go. That's better. And bam. All right. Yeah, what the hell is going on? I'm dropping some frames here. <laughs> 